As anyone who's tried to play Friday the 13th, the game knows it is very difficult to try to get into a match, and that lack of being able to get into a match hasn't given people the opportunity to try the game out and figure out some of the best strategies to, you know, survive from Jason or vice versa, kill counselors. So here are some tips and tricks that I picked up while playing the game and hopefully they will help you become a better Jason or become a better counselor and actually survive Jason. Now these are advanced tips, not basic tips, so they're not the tips that would be like, how do you swing the weapon or anything like that. So these are just some tips that I haven't seen very many people do or utilize while in a match. So let's start out with the counselors. On every single map there are bulletin boards with the word map on it. And you can actually walk up to it and get a free map right at the beginning of the round. And it has unlimited amount of maps so anyone can take one. And that can be very helpful for figuring out where other people on the map are or where Jason is. The second one for the counselors is if you grab a flare gun, most people just shoot it straight at Jason's face, which is good because it stuns him. But actually, if you shoot it up in the air, it can mark his location on the map for everyone to see, and it actually gives you some experience points as well. The next one is a bit scary because you have to actually go into Jason's shack and find his mom's sweatshirt. Pamela's sweatshirt will be in there laying next to her head after you get in the cabin, and you can pick it up and wear it only if you're a female character though because when you push Y or triangle or whatever the button would be on the computer, it makes you act like his mother, just like in the movies, and it will prevent him from walking or moving until he mashes A to get out of it. And that can give you a chance, another chance to run away and possibly survive. So I just like to wear the sweatshirt around and it's just another fail safe way to get away from him if I don't have a pocket knife or I'm not able to stun him in any other way. This tip right here works for both Jason and the counselors. When you are swinging at Jason or if you're Jason swinging at the counselors, you can actually lock on by hitting the right stick in and that'll lock you on so you don't miss your swing. And you can, when you're locked in as the counselors, you can dodge by hitting the left trigger or you can block by hitting the right bumper. So this actually prevents some swings from making contact or you can dodge Jason's grab. And for Jason, you can block some of the stun attempts when the counselors try to swing at you and stun you. I don't have very many advanced tips for Jason. I actually only have one, and that is because he is so easy to use. He's got so many supernatural powers that give him an advantage over the counselors. But the first one is in relation to his sensibility, which is where you would hold RB and press A to sense somebody nearby and that will light up a cabin red if they're in it or not if they're not. And what you can actually do is turn it on real quick so that it's on, see if the cabin lights up, and if it doesn't, then turn it off, and it will regain its ability from where you turned it off so you won't have to wait for it to regain the whole time and you didn't just waste all that time while you knew that somebody wasn't around. So that's all the advanced tips and tricks I have for you guys today. I might make another video like this in the future if I can figure out some more tips and maybe hopefully help some more people out. Can we just take a minute to appreciate this glitch where Jason actually killed me, but I ended up staying in his grasp, walking around the map, and it ended up giving me a second chance to survive because some other counselors knocked me out of his hands, which actually didn't end up helping because I died later.